What's going on guys? In this video we're going to be talking about sorting, but we're also going to look at some of the more advanced features, which is sorting via a key, which accepts a function, and also sorting via multiple attributes. So we'll go, we'll go over both cases. So let's just get right into it. So I've created a list, 12, 6, 9, and if we sort, it sorts by lowest value going to the largest value. So we've sorted 6, 9, 12. Alright, so I'm going to just run the list again. And now, this time, we're going to set the reverse flag to on, to true. So this is going to just uh, sort based on the reverse of uh, minimum to maximum. So we're going to get maximum to minimum. So if I run this, boom, we get uh, maximum to minimum. All right. So the next thing we're going to do now is say we have a list of tuples, tuples, and we want to sort based off one of the attributes. So in this case, we're going to choose the second attribute, which is the 2, the 1, the 3, the 3. So we have a list of tuples, tuples, and we want to sort based off the second attribute. So in this case, we use the, the keyword, we use a special argument key, and in that we feed it a function. So we're going to just create a lambda function. Now, what this function needs to do, it needs to extract all the values that we're interested in. So in this case, we're interested in the second value of each of the tuples. So we're going to use the lambda function to extract that, and the sort function is going to sort based off all the values we have extracted. So once again, this lambda function is just going to extract the second values of the uh, tuples, tuples, and we're going to feed that lambda function into the key, and it'll sort based on those values. So let's just run this, and then we'll run this, and now we're going to feed the function to the key argument, and if we run this, as you can see, one, two, three, three. So it's based off of it's based off the second value in the uh, tuple. All right. So I actually have a couple more examples. So here's another example. In this case, we have a capitalized A and a lowercase A, and a capitalized D and a lowercase B. So if we sort this or run the sorted function on this tuple list, you'll see it capitalizes based on prioritizes the capitalized letters over the lowercase letters, and this might not be something you want. It might be possible that you want to sort of forget about the cases and just uh, alphabetize based on the character itself. So you want to forget if it's lowercase or, or capitalized, you want to just base a uh, sort based off of the character itself. So in that case, what we can do is we can actually use this function called casefold. So casefold pretty much ignores the case. It's similar to lower, string that lower, but it seems to be a little different. If you look at the docs, this is what it says in the docs. See, it's a, similar to lowercase in Bormer, but more aggressive because all case there are distinctions in a string, for example, the German lowercase b. So I guess it uh, applies to multiple languages as well. That's why it's a little more powerful. Get rid of that. So in this case, so we're going to ignore the case of the character and we're going to sort based off of that. So what this essentially does is it will take each element and it will convert the element to a case, uh, to a lowercase, I guess, and it will sort based off of that. So let's just run this and we'll get rid of this. And I will just run this. All right. So as you can see, it's based off of the letter itself. So A, A, B, D. So there's still one more problem that I've encountered and I wanted to know how to solve. So I did a little studying and digging. So in this case, say we alphabetize. Let me actually get the original list. Now here's the problem. If I run this and then we do sorted tuple list. So here, so we're, I, I've just created a contrived example, but here's where we want to sort based off multiple attributes. Okay, so in this case, first we're sorting based off the character, the first element of each tuple. So it's the A, C, D, A, which are all characters. So it, um, by using sorted, it alphabetizes it pretty well. You get A, A, C, D. Now the problem here is when you have similar characters, you have a similar A. In that case, what if you want to, if the, the characters are similar, you want to base the sorting based off the second element. So in this case, you want the A3 to be coming ahead of the A4. So what would you do in that case? In that case, you can actually sort via multiple attributes. And this is a pretty cool feature that I actually just found out about recently. So you could actually, in your lambda function, so you have lambda x, what you can do is you can actually have the lambda functions returning both of the attributes. So you'll have x1, uh, in this case we'll have x0, because I switched it around a little bit, and x1. So you want it to be based off the x0, and if they're the same, you want it to default to x1 in terms of a sorting order. So let's just run this, 
Okay, I'll run this again. Run this. And now run this. I'll just copy this. As you can as you can see, everything is not only alphabetized based off the first character, it's also sorted based off the second element of the uh, tuple. So which is pretty cool. So as you can see the three and four here are also uh, sorted as opposed to here where the four came in before the three. All right, so that's it for this video. Hopefully you, found, you guys found this uh, helpful. And if you have any comments or any feedback, please let me know. If you have any questions also, you can leave those questions within the comment section. All right, so I'll see you guys next time.